The BioRed gel is in a cassette with four black triangles. And a special tool comes with the BioRed gel. You want to jam the tool in where the triangle is and then give a brief twist. And you'll hear a snap as the plates are uh, detaching from each other. Often, after you've cracked the four triangles, you still have to go around the edge of the gel cassette, trying to loosen it up. And eventually, you'll be able to crack the two plates away from each other. Usually, the gel will adhere to one of the two plates. Doesn't really matter which one it sticks to. And uh, then we want to float the gel off of the plate by immersing it in distilled water and gently shaking. So here now we have the gel in a Tupperware tub. Uh, this is our rotary shaker. This is a timer function. This is the speed function. As it says, you don't want to adjust the speed. And it will shake gently for about five minutes. And in that time, we hope that the gel lifts off the plate. Oh, no. Shut up, Charlotte. Honestly, I'm. Yeah. There we go. It's just floating off. Okay, so try to pull the plate out. Actually, I have. Okay, there we go. None of them are all like walking around. Oh, right. Like a jellyfish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have rinsed this gel twice for about 10 minutes each time with distilled water, 100 to 200 milliliters, and now I want to stain it. So I'll use this stain here, which comes from BioRad. And I use about 40 milliliters, but I need to transfer the gel to a smaller vessel so that the 40 milliliters will cover the gel. I'm attempting to pick up the gel now. It uh, is fragile, but not so fragile that I cannot move it. There we go. Add my stain. So it should be that the gel is covered by the stain and the rocker here, the shaker, will gently agitate that for about an hour. Here I have two gels shaking side by side in the stain. As the gels are shaken in distilled water after the staining, the excess stain that's in the gel itself comes out and the bands of protein appear. I'll give you a close-up of that. Here you can see the marker lanes clearly visible with defined molecular weights and these are the paraplasmic extracts. Uh, these lanes here show very little protein. So somebody's paraplasmic extract didn't work very well or they did not pipette well into the gel.